Welcome to Voice of Africa, where we delve into transformative developments shaping the continent's future. Today, we bring you an in-depth exploration of Burkina Faso's groundbreaking achievement, the completion of its monumental hydroelectric power station. This landmark project not only marks a pivotal moment for Burkina Faso, but also sets a precedent for sustainable energy solutions across Africa. Burkina Faso, known for its rich natural resources, has embarked on a bold initiative to harness its abundant water resources for clean energy production. The recently completed hydroelectric power station on the Samoyne River stands as a testament to the nation's commitment to diversifying its energy portfolio and reducing dependence on fossil fuels. This megaproject promises to revolutionize Burkina Faso's energy landscape, offering a reliable and sustainable source of electricity crucial for economic development and improving the quality of life for its citizens. The journey towards realizing this ambitious vision involved meticulous planning and collaboration between local and international experts. Initial feasibility studies were conducted to assess the potential sites, water flow, and environmental impact. This planning phase involved detailed blueprints created by collaborating with government agencies, local communities, and private sector partners. Environmental assessments ensured that the project would not adversely affect local ecosystems, and measures were put in place to mitigate any potential risks. Construction of the hydroelectric power station was divided into several key phases, each requiring specialized skills and technologies, the first phase involved the construction of the dam, which required extensive excavation and earth-moving activities. Advanced engineering techniques were employed to ensure the dam's structural integrity, taking into account factors such as water pressure, sediment load, and seismic activity. The second phase focused on building the power station itself, including the installation of turbines, generators, and transformers all crucial components in converting the kinetic energy of flowing water into electrical energy. The installation process required precision and expertise, with teams working around the clock to meet tight deadlines. The third phase involved constructing the infrastructure necessary to support the power station's operation, such as access roads, water intake and outflow channels, and housing for operational staff. Additionally, Control systems and monitoring equipment were installed to ensure the plant could be operated efficiently and safely. Throughout the project, stakeholder involvement was crucial to its success. Regular meetings were held with government officials, community leaders, and environmental groups to keep them informed of progress and address any concerns. This transparent approach helped build trust and ensured that the project had broad support. International partners played a significant role in providing technical expertise and funding. Development agencies and foreign governments offered grants and low-interest loans, recognizing the project's potential to contribute to regional stability and economic development. The total investment of $7.425 billion underscores the project's scale and importance, attracting diverse stakeholders keen on supporting Burkina Faso's sustainable development goals. Beyond its environmental benefits, the hydroelectric power station has already begun to yield substantial economic benefits for Burkina Faso. The project has generated thousands of jobs during its construction phase, providing employment opportunities for local communities. As operations commence, ongoing maintenance and management of the facility will continue to support local industries and stimulate economic growth in the region. The reliable supply of electricity from the power station is expected to boost local industries, attract new businesses, and support overall economic growth in the region. The environmental benefits of the project are equally significant. By reducing reliance on fossil fuels, the hydroelectric power station will help lower greenhouse gas emissions and promote sustainable water management. The reservoir created by the dam has a retention capacity of 1.5 billion cubic meters of water, which serves as a buffer to ensure a steady supply of water to the turbines even during dry seasons. This sustainable approach to water management will have long-term benefits for the region's ecosystem. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to Voice of Africa for more insightful content on Africa's transformative developments and sustainable futures. The completion of Burkina Faso's hydroelectric power station not only meets current energy demands,
but also positions the country as a leader in renewable energy innovation within West Africa. With its high-capacity factor and state-of-the-art infrastructure, the power station is poised to serve as a model for future renewable energy projects across the continent. As Africa continues to strive towards energy independence and environmental sustainability, Burkina Faso's achievement stands as a beacon of hope and progress. The hydroelectric power station has an annual capacity of 18 gigawatt hours, a critical factor in meeting the energy demands of Burkina Faso and supporting the country's growing infrastructure needs. The plant operates with a high capacity factor, ensuring that it can deliver consistent power output throughout the year, irrespective of seasonal variations in water flow. The facility is equipped with state-of-the-art Kaplan turbines, known for their efficiency in converting hydraulic energy into mechanical energy. These turbines are specifically designed to handle varying water flows, making them ideal for the Semoini River's conditions. The generators, coupled with these turbines, are capable of producing high-voltage electricity, which is then stepped up by transformers for transmission over long distances. High-efficiency transformers are installed to step up the voltage from the generators to the transmission level, crucial for reducing energy losses during transmission. Advanced switchgear systems are used to control the flow of electricity, ensuring the safety and reliability of the power distribution network. These systems include circuit breakers, disconnectors, and protection relays that help manage faults and maintain an uninterrupted power supply. The power station features a centralized control room equipped with modern supervisory control and data acquisition, SCADA, systems. These systems allow operators to monitor and control the entire plant remotely, ensuring optimal performance and a quick response to any issues. Automated control systems are also integrated to adjust the operation of turbines and generators based on real-time data, maximizing efficiency and minimizing manual intervention. The dam associated with the power station has a height of 85 meters and a crest length of 1.5 kilometers. Its design includes multiple spillways to manage excess water flow and prevent flooding. The inspection phase of the hydroelectric power station was a critical step in ensuring the project's safety and effectiveness. A team of independent experts was brought in to conduct a thorough evaluation of the power station components and systems. This inspection covered several key areas, including detailed assessments of the dam and power station structures, checking for any signs of weakness or potential failure points, advanced imaging and testing techniques, such as ultrasonic testing and ground-penetrating radar, were used to examine the integrity of concrete and steel components. The turbines, generators, and transformers underwent rigorous testing to ensure they were operating within specified parameters. This involved running the systems under various load conditions and monitoring performance metrics, such as efficiency, temperature, and vibration levels. The plant's control systems were tested to ensure they could effectively manage the power generation process. Safety systems, including emergency shutdown procedures and flood control mechanisms, were also tested to verify their reliability. Environmental scientists conducted studies to assess the impact of the power station on local ecosystems. This included monitoring water quality, fish populations, and downstream effects. Mitigation measures, such as fish ladders and sediment control systems, were evaluated for their effectiveness. The final inspection, conducted last Friday, was a comprehensive evaluation of the power station's readiness to begin operations. The inspection team included representatives from government agencies, independent engineering firms, and international partners. Over several days, they conducted a detailed review of all systems and components. The inspection process involved multiple stages, starting with a walkthrough of the facility. Inspectors reviewed the operational procedures, safety protocols, and maintenance schedules. They also conducted live tests, running the turbines and generators under various conditions to simulate real-world scenarios. Data collected from these tests were analyzed to ensure the systems were performing as expected. Upon completion of the inspection, the team concluded that the Semoini Hydroelectric Power Station met all regulatory and safety standards. They authorized the plant to begin operations, marking the end of the construction phase and the start of a new era in Burkina Faso's energy sector.
This milestone signifies a significant step forward for the country, paving the way for future investments in renewable energy infrastructure. Together, let's celebrate Burkina Faso's achievement and continue to advocate for sustainable solutions that benefit both current and future generations. Voice of Africa invites you to be part of the journey towards a brighter, more sustainable future for Africa. Like, comment and subscribe to stay informed and engaged with our ongoing coverage of Africa's evolving landscape. Burkina Faso's hydroelectric power station stands as a testament to the nation's resilience, innovation, and commitment to sustainable progress. As we witness the dawn of a new era in energy production, let us continue to support initiatives that propel Africa towards a brighter and more sustainable future. Thank you for joining us at Voice of Africa where Africa's voice resonates with hope, progress, and limitless potential. Don't miss out on our latest updates. Subscribe now to Voice of Africa and join us in exploring the continent's path to prosperity through sustainable development. Together we can make a difference.